I'm First Alert Meteorologist Brittany Rainey. We've been talking a lot about different types of precipitation and just what type we're going to see with different winter systems moving through the area. So let's take a look at the atmospheric column of air because this is what determines the type of precipitation we see at the surface. So with rain, you have your cloud. That precipitation comes out frozen in cold air, but then there's a warm column of air below it, so it's melting by the time it reaches the surface. When we get freezing rain, we have a shallow layer of cold air, so it's still melting as it falls through the air, but once it reaches the surface, that's all sitting below 32 degrees, so it freezes on contact. With sleet, that column of cold air, it's a little bit taller, so even though we're getting it to melt for a little bit, it freezes once again as it reaches the surface and then you get those ice pellets, which can cause very slick conditions. With snow, however, that entire column of air, it's below freezing. It's all cold, so it stays snow once it falls out of the cloud base. But here's another way to take a look at it. When we have that warm air nudging in from the south, this is kind of what we're going to be seeing in North Texas as we have this winter storm moving in. So think of this as up along the Red River. That's where we have more cold air basically through that whole column of air. So that's why they're looking at snow. Then as we get towards I-20, that's where we're kind of getting into this wintry mix where we could see some of that warm air aloft. So that could give us a mix of sleet and snow. And then the further south you go into central Texas, they're looking at some sleet, some freezing rain and even rain as the temperatures continue to warm as you head into central Texas. So with freezing rain, that definitely creates black ice out there. It's very dangerous with sleet. This is also leading to ice pellets accumulating very slick surfaces, so you want to use extra caution out there. And if we do get that wintry mix of sleet and snow, that's going to lower our snowfall accumulations with those higher totals staying up to the north. Hopefully that explains some of that for you.